Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Escada. And I'm Jeff Kanata. Let's catch you up with the headlines. Well, the word cybernetics might bring to mind Terminators at first. But what about something more eco-friendly, like this? Researchers at University College London created Horta Machina B, a geodesic sphere with a decidedly green twist. It's filled with plant life, and electrodes allow the sphere to detect how the plants respond to different environments. The sphere can also move, albeit slowly and awkwardly, by using actuators that shift its weight around. So what is the point of this exactly? Well, the architecture students behind Horton Machina B say they feel plants should be integrated into modern society in a way that allows the plants to autonomously interact with humans and get around town. I really like that they called it, a, a, this is a quote, a speculative urban cyber gardener. That was like the way that they described it. I saw it. speculative urban cyber gardener at Coachella and they were amazing. Super amazing. Uh, no, this is a really cool idea. I think that there are, uh, we need to figure out a way to integrate plants more in modern uh, big cities. And, yeah. and this, is, this is exactly the kind of thing we need to be working on. Yeah, I really dig that. Speaking of things we need to be working on, uh, have you been working on your duck face? Well, it's time to abandon your duck face and start perfecting your trout face. Or at least your pet fish can work on their trout face. The Submariner camera is a little remote controlled boat with a little camera on board and you can record video of your fish as they swim inside your aquarium or take simple snapshots of your underwater family. If you want to record your more nocturnal fish, the Submariner even has itty bitty headlights on board. Oh, and here's the best part. Obviously, you don't want to take pictures of your fish swimming away, so it has a small arm that you can stick fish food capsules on, allowing you to get the best shots of your prettiest fish. What, uh, what would you pay for a, a fish selfie device? Oh, well, <laughs> give me an infomercial, I'd pay $20. Yeah, no, this is going to be about 90 yeah, I so, uh, nope. I like the little, like, come here, come here, come here, fish. I know, I like the, the bait, the lure bait. I, if I was a fish, I would not trust anything that involved bait. Or lures, right? <laughs> like if you're a fish, that seems like the worst way to attract a fish. Yeah, that's true. Maybe really... you're a pretty lady fish that so looks just like your fish man. <laughs> He's like, lipstick. hey, come over. Yeah, put yeah. some lipstick on a goldfish. That's a good way to get your fish to come closer. <laughs> so which of these stories should we talk about? I, you know, I really like, uh, you, you mentioned something important. I think as we make everything more modern, as we make everything, uh, you know, we see an urban sprawl kind of happening, I think it's really important to talk about ways that we can bring the the green and eco-friendly uh, plant life to cities. I think that's a great story. And uh, in order to provide balance, I'll be doing my trout face the entire time. Great. That sounds good. If you guys want to share a picture of your best trout face, you can all, you can tweet us with the hashtag HeyTD. Yeah, that's how we know that you're talking at us, by shouting us over Twitter. And then uh, we'll be able to check your comments and incorporate them into our discussion on Thursday. Yeah, you can all, if you don't Tomorrow. want to send your trout face, just tell us what you think of this lovely uh, Horta Machina B. Yeah, or any cool. of the stories we've talked about this any of week. We're going to be, uh, we're going to be deep diving tomorrow. Yes, get out your nose plugs. All right, guys, it's time for our second to last, our penultimate Monuments Photographer of the Day. Let's look. Today's photographer is Jacob, who took this with a Note 4. Yeah, Jacob wrote to us and said, Hi, Jeff and Ashley. My name is Jacob Hursley, and of course, I give permission for you to show my pictures. These are from when my best friend and I went to Israel in December of 2014. I took them on a Note 4, but now I have the Galaxy S7 Edge. The top left is Jerusalem. Top right are the grottos from the north. The bottom left is also in the north. And the bottom right is the Baha'i Gardens in Haifa. I'm a huge fan of the show and hope I get featured Hopes granted, Jacob, featured right now. You know, I've never been to Israel, but I don't picture uh, this when I think of it. Yeah, I mean, it's really interesting. I think I picture the upper left picture, but I certainly would not picture the the top right and the bottom left, which look very sort of uh, tropical. tropical. Yeah. yeah, like it's uh, it gorgeous. I mean, it's all beautiful. It looks ridiculously beautiful and colorful. That's always the thing I love about pictures from all around the world. You guys send these photos in of places that I have in my mind and then it's sort of almost like seeing 
uh, a color picture of something you've previously seen in black and white. Like yeah. in your mind, I, I guess I just don't see it as colorful as it truly is in real life. And so that's so cool that you sent that in. This Thank has you. been a fun month of monuments. Yes. We got a new month kitting us pretty quick. Uh, what should uh, what should May's theme be? Well, May, I think uh, it reminds me of, always reminds me of May Day, uh, mm -hmm. first of May. So like, uh, then of course I was raised Catholic. So I always think of the, uh, the, the Mary, there's this big celebration of Mother Mary and all this stuff. Um, so I'm going to say I think springtime is good. It's a flower. Yes. And... Uh, it's spring is springing. So whatever spring means to you, we'd love to see photography uh, around that theme. Maybe some beautiful outdoor shots, but maybe spring means something else. Maybe an actual spring. I don't Fog. know. Fog. Uh, maybe it's weather of some, yeah. some kind. Uh, maybe it's a place that you go every spring for spring break. If it's you doing uh, jello shots on the beach. And <laughs> there you go. Food, we'll fine. take those pictures. We'll, we'll take that we'll as take well. Those pictures. So spring it is. That is our new theme. It will start on Monday. We'll remind you guys tomorrow. If you guys want to send in your photography, please uh, send your spring photos to tomorrow at CNET.com. Yeah, make sure you tell us what device you took it on. Give us permission to use it on the show. Tell us how to pronounce your name and a little story about what that picture is and why you took it, always appreciated too. Excellent, four very important posts. Mm -hmm. Points, not posts, points. Uh, that is it for today's show. We'll be back tomorrow with our deep dive episode. Make sure you watch all of our short shows this week so you know what we're gonna be talking about and get in on the conversation with hashtag HeyTV. We'll be welcoming video game writer, screenwriter, and all around great guy, TJ Fixman, to the show, who is very, very funny and a friend of mine, and I can't wait to have him here because yeah. we are gonna grill him on life. Um, good. It's going to be great. So if you ever wanted to be a writer in the industry, this would be a really good episode for you to watch. That is it for today's show, everyone. We will see you tomorrow. But until then, be good humans. Bye, guys.